Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be watching a match between Old Ghost Stalker and Venom 69 on Frozen Planet. Let us begin. So, Frozen Planet, as you can see, is a very, very, very hilly map. It's a map that really you want to use spiders on. I've seen spiders work well, I've seen gunships work well. And spiders are exactly what Old Ghost Stalker is going for, while cloakies are more Venom style. Now, I'm not sure. I've actually seen Venom play before, so I'm not sure if he prefers Cloakies in general or what. Cloakies do work well in this map, though it's a little bit tricky. You have to be careful to make sure you have good awareness of what's going on, because there's a lot of metal patches along here, and it's important to know whether or not your opponent's taking them. It's important to know where your opponent is, and that's why spiders work really well, because spiders with fleas, these guys, they cloak when they are just sitting around, so they actually are great for scouting. As I mentioned before, when you are playing spiders, you want to use fleas to scout and then everything else to attack. Though fleas can be a powerful attacking force if they aren't impeded. Now, on the other hand, cloakies are able to just kill fleas no problem. Any cloaky unit is going to be able to kill a flea when it encounters it, so no big deal. And it looks like Venom is doing exactly that. He is trying to set up his cloakies so that he has a good idea of what's going on around the map so he can easily respond quickly. Both players are very quickly making sure that they have the vision they need and we see that Venom is going for a quick harassment. Now, Old Ghost Stalker, his vision is pretty comprehensive. He doesn't actually have any vision of what's going on in this side of the mountain. He has a little bit of idea of what's going on in these cliffs. And it looks like these fleas are going in a position to actually see what's going on. And now we can see what is going on inside of Venom's base. And one of the fleas is coming in, taking on a metal extractor. There's nothing defending this metal extractor. That is huge. At the same time, Glazers are coming in, but getting fried torn to pieces by the Venom and Commander, so that's not helping out too much. Three more Glaives at the northwest side of the map. Nothing is attacking them, so it's not a big deal to worry about for them, but this Venom doing a great job taking care of the Metal Extractor. It hasn't, however, buried. It's not burrowed right now. It is visible, and it has been gone. It is gone, completely destroyed, but still nice harassment by Old Ghost Stalker. Venom 69 doing harassment of his own against the wind generators and doing a decent job getting rid of the metal extractors and the wind generators. Two metal extractors down. Most of the wind generators down too and I think the glaives no they will not escape unscathed. The glaives will not survive but still that was a huge harassment. Definitely worth the cost. So right now Venom has a slight advantage for what he has going though he does have to deal with the fact that he did give some reclaim to Old Ghost Stalker and Old Ghost Stalker he hardly gave any reclaim back. And Old Ghost Stalker, of course, has complete control of the map. Now, one thing with Cloakies, like I said, on this map, they need to be kind of careful to make sure that they are able to respond around the map. Like, harassing the main base is a, definitely a good idea in the early game, but you don't want to lose too many glaze. You want to make sure that you are harassing around the map and kind of checking for fleas, just making sure around the map you know where the fleas could be. And it does appear that Old Ghost Stalker is going to have to worry about these glaives coming in. He, there are enough glaives coming from Venom that he will be able to look for fleas. He is sweeping for fleas, definitely. He's double tracking, making sure you can find them, make sure you can see if anything's going on from old Ghost Stalker, any major attacks. And we were actually coming in, the Glaive's coming in to respond to it. One of them, and that's all it takes, is getting rid of it. We're trying to, but no, it's gone too far up the mountain. These Glaives cannot reach it. See this purple line here, that means that's completely unpathable. There is one path here, and the Glaive is, one of the Glaives is taking it. We'll be able to get up, get rid of this radar. And Defender just in time. The Weaver, however, is able to get down the mountain before any problems come up. And this Glaive cannot hit it. Doesn't know where it is. And that is going to be a surviving Weaver. Now, a couple Glaives fighting off a of Venom. Not doing a great job. I mean, the Venom actually did take half damage. That's not bad. But still, fighting a Venom with Glaives is a terrible idea. Now, as you can see, Venom definitely focusing heavily on attacking units. This is the way he needs to go. Just now getting a Constructor... And like I said, on this map, that is what you want to do. And he is sending all his glaives around. He knows how to play this map, clearly. He's getting his glaives around, making sure that nothing is going to come in. None of the spiders are going to come in from any unexpected angles and tear him apart. The fact that he's going for this Venom is a little bit surprising. He knows it's here. I'm just I'm not sure why he keeps insisting on going for it. He looked like he had, I mean, it had a good split going on before with the glaives. But it's not a great idea. This glaive, however, can go and attack the Venom. And it is doing exactly that. Because... With this nice split, the Venom has a harder time dealing with the Glaives coming at it, but unfortunately, the Glaives will tend to just get closer and closer, and there we go! The group has been stunned again, so in both cases, the group of Glaives getting stunned really against... against Venoms, you don't want to use Glaives. Warriors are a better idea. 
I mean, if you have half a dozen glaives, it works out. If you have them in a nice circle around, but two glaives is not enough. Like, if you're really, really, really on the ball with micromanagement, it could work. And it looks like Venom is doing a pretty decent job with the micromanagement aspect, but it's still tough to do. I mean, the fact is that you have to make sure that as your as the Venom retreats and your glaives go towards it, that your glaives aren't just going into one big clump and then I'm getting stunned by the Venom, and that's what happens. That's exactly what see happens, and another Venom trying to come up to deal with this glaive here, and it is able to deal with it. A pair of Venoms finishing it off as the Weaver goes to rebuild the Radar and build Defender on that hill. So Radar has been built for Old Ghost Doctor. He's well aware of what's going on. Like I said, he has... Great vision around the map. Well, Venom, on the other hand, just double check his vision range. No radar. He's got a decent amount of vision, but hasn't spotted most of the fleas around the map. That is not good. He does have an economic advantage, however. Old Ghost Stalker has fewer resources, has fewer metal extractors. Venom definitely working to contain, and that contain is working out fairly well. Now it looks like he's trying to invest into actually making that contain pay off, getting more metal extractors. And then from there, he's probably going to be able to just build up slightly more advanced units. Glaives are definitely a good anti-spider unit. It's just Venoms will counter them well. That's why I'm saying not a bad idea to have some heavier duty units once he gets to about 20 metal, or so, 20 metal income or so. Somewhere in that range. Get some heavy duty units that can actually survive a Venom Blast. And then from there, he'll be able to take out the Venoms no problem. Like warriors should be fine. Zeus's would be overkill, I would think. It's... Not that you can't use them, it's just that it's really expensive and slow for what they can do. So, warriors probably would be a better option. And warriors are being built, actually! A pair of warriors are being built. That will be able to take care of the problem without any issue. And this defender coming up here will get rid of the flea as it goes down. Both of them simultaneously being destroyed, but that's still good. Old Ghost Stalker has one less eye on the map. And Venom also making sure he can contain what's going on for Wolgo Stalker. Wolgo Stalker was trying to expand to the northwest side of the map. That has been contained out. He is, however, sending some Venoms to deal with the commander. And at the same time... No, not at the same time. Venom is not going for a counterattack at this point. He really should be just sweeping in from here. Because all the Venoms are out of position now. And his commander doing what it can. And it is a heavy enough unit that it can take a few Venom Blasts. But has now been stunned. However, the Venom in a terrible spot. The Light Laser Tower has taken it out. And that is huge. Old Ghost Stalker sending in a Hermit to try to follow up, but I think that was probably an... That looks like it was an outdated order for assuming the Venoms would actually pay off, and no, they did not. So Old Ghost Stalker does not know exactly what Venom is up to. He sort of knows, but he doesn't have enough actual knowledge. He has these fleas here, but they aren't telling him what Venom is actually up to. Now Venom, on the other hand, not able to actually do all that much. The, the Venoms from Old Ghost Stalker stopping his glaives. And these glaives over here, I mean, I can understand why he has them positioned there, just to make sure that nothing can come through. Though, really, I'd be more worried about something coming through this mountain ridge. Granted, he has the Defender here, so that does help, but like, coming along the backside, because the Defender, if you look from the Defender's point of view, the Defender can't actually see this side of the mountain. It, If spiders were to come along here, they'd be able to go fine. They'd be just running through with impunity. I'm a bit surprised that Old Ghost Stalker has not taken advantage of that. He might not be aware of where the Defender is. But at any rate, if that comes up, that'll be pretty huge. And Weaver for Old Ghost Stalker getting destroyed by a Glaive from Venom. So one more expansion attempt being destroyed. There's a radar here to try to spot for what's going on. And that's not a bad idea. That radar there does actually... Okay, this radar here has vision of what's going on with Venom's commander. The Old Ghost Stalker well aware of what's going on with Venom's commander. Venom not actually aware of what's going on outside of what he can see. He has a radar over... Hmm. See, double check where he has his radar. It looks like it is about... Here-ish. Oh, here. I see. Radar right on top of this mountain. However, as you can see, the shadow from that not going past here. And basically, all I can see is the east side of the map. He can't easily see the west side of the map. And that's where most of his stuff is. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't built a radar there yet. And I'm really surprised. Why is he building a storage? Okay, that is weird. I don't know what possessed him to build an energy storage. That is not something you generally want to build too much of. Really, you never need energy storage. It's it's just a waste of money. If you need energy storage, you're probably not spending enough. That, that's usually what it means. That you need to spend more money, or spend more metal and energy, and that will take care of... That'll take care of all the energy in reserve. There's really not much point, so I don't understand the rationale for that. However, it is... As you can see from the stockpiles, Venom does have a bit too little energy. He needs to get more power plants going. 
Old Ghost Dark on the other end has about half as much metal as Venom does. Venom definitely making this contain pay off. And more and more getting this line of glaives set up probably about two or three minutes from now. He could actually attack now, but I think he's probably waiting a bit. Getting a few more units. Getting some hammers as well. Nice artillery set up. Probably once he gets all these hammers built. There's half a dozen hammers. He will rush in. He is still sending in some small forces. Picking up opportunity targets like this Venom here. And sending in hammers just for a bit of artillery. Trying to get rid of Old Ghost Stalker's commander. Old Ghost Stalker's commander actually was a... He's an attack commander. Slow beam and auto repair. No energy cell here. But nicely done. Getting rid of one more metal extractor. Lone metal extractor that was just in the way. And also nicely done with a glaive attack. Three glaives definitely can't get rid of a venom. It's just two is really hard to pay up. It's really hard to make it work. You can with perfect micromanagement, but it's difficult to do. Now, old ghost stalker's commander... With a bunch of Venoms and Hermits trying to get rid of these Glades coming in, but I'm not sure if he's aware of all these forces that are now marching in. Venom marching in with all of his units. Old Ghost Arch Commander splitting up in the rest of the forces. And now the Venoms should be enough on their own, hypothetically, to get rid of these Glades, but it's kind of a bit of a position problem. And Old Ghost Stalker's Commander put itself into a bad position. Getting rid of one of the Warriors, however, and that is big. It takes about three or four warriors to kill a commander, though at level two it might even take five. But Venom only had two. So that's not going to do him much good. Actually, Venom losing a lot of the forces he had set up for the contain on this attack. He's getting more and more of his hammers. Unit under ah, here's a problem. He doesn't have... These rectors here are not helping build the units. That is kind of his focus. He has a ton of defense going on here. He does have some impalers. He does have a vehicle factory over to the northwest, and that's probably what he's focusing on primarily. But, actually, it's not a terrible idea, come to think of it. Still, building up Impalers is really risky. He's building a lot of artillery, and that's very risky. Especially given that as soon as the Venoms get close, those artillery units are dead. Now, he is moving forward. He does have the artillery from his main base coming in. He should probably build more Glaives, though. And more Metal Extractors. and Or possibly, no, he has Power Plants by the Metal Extractors. But building more Metal Extractors would be a good idea. Especially around here. If he can build more metal extractors over here. And it looks like he is not sending any erectors to do so. But if he were to do that, he could support both of these factories. Both the vehicle factory and the Clickybot factory building units. And that would give him enough power to send in a bunch of glaives just to support everything. Now, the glaives that he is, are sending out, they are being used efficiently. Only one or two dying at a time. But not really killing any of the Venoms in the process. Just distracting them while the artillery tries to get at them. Not a terrible idea, but not a great idea either. More glaives coming in to try to distract the Venoms. But I'm not sure if the Venoms are going to fall for it this time. They might just go past straight into the hammers. While the west side of the map, this is where Venom needs to attack. He is getting some Impalers, attacking straight into the base and dealing quite a bit of damage to the factory itself. Looks like, actually, two more fire, two more shots and that factory is going down. There, oh no, one more, actually. And that is the factory gone down. Old Ghost Stalker has no factory right now. He does have quite a few units, though. He does have definitely an advantage in terms of how he's using them, but he lost his Venoms throughout this fight, and it looks like the Glaives are just going to finish everything off, and that is probably going to be game. Now, at the same time, the west side of the map, we do have Venom's commander being stunned by Old Ghost Stalker. It looks like he had a D-gun. Actually, he didn't have any D-guns. He just has Disruptor Beam and Slow Beam. He is a level 3, however, so he... No, does he have a D-gun? I don't think he does. No, he does not have... Sorry, D-gun is a single-fire weapon. It's... That's a bit of a holdover from Total Annihilation, where it was Disintegrator Gun, and it was on... You hit D, and you clicked, and it would fire, basically kill everything. The Disintegrator Gun is something that commanders can get. It's one of the commander unlocks, but it's rarely used. I'm really surprised Old Ghost Stalker is going for level 3 commander. I guess he's quite confident, given the LO difference between the two. But at this point, Venom has total map control. And Old Ghost Stalker is basically being held inside of his base, trying to get his commander built up, and then breaking out with level 5 commander... And that looks like it's exactly what he's going for with the Disruptor Beam just sniping out what he can. And that Disruptor Beam is doing a pretty good job, actually, taking care of everything around. But even with that, it's taking too much damage. That commander is going down. And there we go. Defender taking the commander out in mid-air. In mid-jump, that commander goes down. That is 4,400 metal. Actually, 1,750 metal on reclaim. And that is it. Ghost Stalker has surrendered. Thrown in the towel. Nicely done, Venom, for taking that win. Taking the map control very slowly, because spiders, like I said, do have a pretty big advantage on this map. 
They can really take advantage of terrain, but well done nonetheless. So be back with another game shortly. Stay tuned, everyone.